<laughs> yeah, I heard about that. What's up, everybody? Dre back at it again with another video on Battlefield 2042. We just got finished watching the EA Play Live event, and my god, it was really cringe. I can't believe I actually sat through all of that. It was relatively short, at least. But oh my god, the amount of freaking copyrighted songs got the damn stream copy striked, and god damn it. This is why I don't stream this crap. But anyways, what they showed off was pretty cool, but at the same time, I'm kind of disappointed because I wanted to see more. Like, it was a whole freaking hour stream, and they only showed off like three minutes of Battlefield. So yeah, that was frustrating. Frustrating, but at least what they showed off was interesting so i guess waiting through the whole damn thing was worth it so what exactly did they show off well to put it simply they basically showed off halo reach forged battlefield edition yes it's called battlefield portal where it allows you to use seven plus maps that come from three different battlefields i think they said battlefield 1942 battlefield bad company battlefield 3 and all the maps from 2042 i believe all the maps from the old games are revamped and i believe they actually added this destruction to all the older maps too so that's pretty cool you can make scenarios you can make your own game modes you can drop a bunch of ai to simulate the battles you can have world war ii guys go up against people from freaking modern day you can do crazy stuff like have a tank go up against a bunch of little robots defibrillators versus knives four players go up against an entire team there's just quite a bit of stuff that you could actually do with this how oh, they even have a freaking logic editor you could do quite a bit with this although they did say that you couldn't edit the map around but i'm sure modders will find a way to do it so yeah that's pretty much it there's not too much to really talk about um i was kind of hoping to see more i mean the portal thing is definitely cool it's gonna be a lot of cool user made content because i've seen a lot of people do this type of stuff on forge for halo who's to say that they can't come back in and do stuff on this game right here I definitely see that being a lot of fun but does it bring up the price for me when it comes to battlefield overall i don't know i don't think so definitely is a cool addition it's, it's adding more value to it for sure but i don't know if it justifies the 60 70 dollar price tag because i'm not the one that's making these you know scenarios and stuff i'll probably try them out but most likely i'm just gonna stick to the multiplayer so i don't know if it's really gonna add value to the game for me but maybe you think differently does this game raise the bar for you does it make you want to go out and buy it now let me know overall i thought that the show was okay they definitely had some decent games in there it's just like the level of cringe that got to me i'm just like oh just show me the game please don't don't do this i think a big surprise for me was actually seeing that they were working on a dead space game i don't think it's a remaster i think it might actually be a remake but i don't know it just said dead space and that's it but maybe it's a remaster i don't know guess we're gonna have to see but uh yeah so that's pretty much all i really got to say about this what are your guys' thoughts let me know down below in the comment section be sure to like up the video subscribe if you're new and ding that bell if you want to support the channel the join button is down below or you can hop over to my uh patreon page and uh yeah that'll be said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.